Well, good morning to those of you who have just joined us. Welcome aboard your boat, Captain James Cook. My name's Mark, I'm the skipper of the day, and your crew member is John. We're underway now and heading upstream along the River Ouse. Before we go too much further, a quick safety announcement. Captain Cook has sufficient flotation aids for everybody on board. The buoyancy apparatus and the light boys are all on the upper deck. These can be manually launched or will float free. We also have firefighting equipment. The fire extinguishers are kept at either end of the enclosed saloon. In the unlikely event of an emergency during the trip, please keep calm and follow the crew's instructions. If instructed to evacuate the vessel, do so by your nearest exit. But on the lower deck, you should note that the saloon windows are open and these may be used as additional exits in an emergency. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions concerning safety or indeed any other aspect of the cruise, please do not hesitate to ask either John or myself. As I mentioned, we're heading upstream along the River Ouse. We're going to continue upstream to the northern end of the city before turning around. We'll then, of course, be heading downstream, pass right through the centre of York, down towards the southern outskirts. That's why we're turning around for the second time. We shall be back on our landing in about 45 minutes. On the way, I'll be pointing out one or two of the sights to be seen from the river. Start off with the moorings to our right. These moorings are very popular with visiting pleasure craft through the summer months. It's not unusual to see boats moored all along this stretch for about two and sometimes even three deep. Boats travel here from all over the country, many along the inland waterways network. This river connected to the waterways network by the Aaron Calder and the Trenton Mersey navigations. Using either of these, it's possible 